waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Cusp readings, that's right. So, you ready? We're going to do Aries Taurus. This is going to be for your mid, uh, mid-January 2022. I can't even believe that. I mean, I can't. Two, two, two. You know what I mean? Mm. But that's a whole different class. Here's your class. Cusps. Okay, so you're asking what the hell is a cusp. Well, basically a cusp is the transitional period of time between the two signs, which is Aries Taurus. And your birthday would be April 16th through the 22nd that that change happens, okay? It's basically cusp and short. So guess what? You're part of the cusp of power. It says right here. <laughs> anyway, how's your day go? Hopefully great. Mine's fantastic. As always, so thank you for caring. Um, the Lions Club, the world subscribe. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, that's you, brand new to the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, grab your coffee. Let's get into your reading. Mm. Oh, I gotta love my coffee. I do, I do, but I gotta move it. Say hi to my mic. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> You know, I tried it, like I said, a couple of videos, like here, there, whatever. It just didn't really work, so I put it here, because it's like the best position, even though it's camera interference and it's unprofessional, but nonetheless, it's still there. Here we go. So, noobs, I'm going to lay two parts down for your, for your energy, right? That is the balance of your duality. That's your yin and your yang, positive, negative, left and right, good and bad, masculine and feminine side, okay? That's the balance of your duality. Those two cards will be followed by more cards of the story, and within that story will be your message. Okay, and then uh, at the end, I'll lay two cards down like they did in the beginning to close your energy out, send you on your way to Subway, go get you salad with no cucumbers, and tell everybody about my channel. Thanks. <clears throat> now that I got that off my chest, we can keep going. <laughs> Let me give us a couple shuffles, and then we'll get into your Aries Taurus cusp reading. Right. It's so nice outside today. I am so just, oh, it's amazing. Okay. I did a little cleansing, a little spiritual bath, right? I'm not telling you my techniques or secrets, but, you know, we all do that if you uh, believe in shit, whatever. Um, it's just like purification. That's all. Anyways, open the door. Bam, son. Have you ever... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get you your two cards right now. And then I'm going to just keep talking in between all your stories. Because that's what I like to do. Right? Okay. First card of your energy is going to be this. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so open the door, right? And it's like, boom. Sun, boom. And then I go outside. I don't know if you, like, look at the sun and you're like, oh, it's... It's an amazing day and kind of pull in the energy of the sun and feel that warmth and shit. Well, it's just it's just a nice, great feeling to do that. And it's even better when the sun kind of flares up and it makes it brighter and you're pulling this greatness of energy that we have towards us. You know what I mean? Anyways, six of six of pentacles. <laughs> six of pentacles. Uh, it's some kind of giving so either someone's giving to you or you're giving to someone else or you're both giving to each other fairly as a even give and take persevering through the stability mm -hmm. because you're carrying burdens maybe somebody's giving you burdens yeah someone in this moment noobs fine squad uh, is giving you um, some burdens, right? But they're carrying some too. But this is your energy, and I I, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to look at ten of, ten of wands. He's walking towards that little town, now walking away. So this is like the burdens or the wands. That's like all your obstacles, barriers, challenges, things that are uh, weighing you down. And basically, you're walking towards that little village. But here, this man is going to be giving some money to this person. And just the picture, picture gram, okay? Or in like second grade, we're looking at the pictures. Ooh la la. Right? Boom. Okay. <laughs> 
So this is your energy because this is your duality, right? You're <laughs> wanting to pawn off your burdens to the whole village. Who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, uh, really, it's more like, you know, you want to get rid of them, right? And you want to have a little more balance because carrying all those isn't so balanced for you, okay? So I think that's a fair assessment of your energy. Now, let's get into the story. Pull your first card, and it's going to be this. Ooh, we got two. Two for, yeah. Ready? How am I going to do this? Top is bottom. I mean, bottom is top. Top is bottom. Is hit first. Bam. There you go. Page of Pentacles. Right. The world card. Boom. So you get some information that kind of changes some shit for you. Okay. Which is good. It ends the cycle. It ends this. How the hell you give yourself even take and release some of these burdens to the people that it belongs to. That's where this stands. Mm-hmm. So you get some information about it. You get um, you get you get an idea of how this is going to change for you, right? Basically, in short. So let's get another card. I'm gonna see how this. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Boom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so the lovers card here. This, you know, is. Represented as your divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, however you want to call that. But it's all from the divine, because see, boom, shining the light down on you. And so now with the light shining down on you, you're looking at two people in this card. So that's like a representation of maybe um, Adam and Eve, right? In a sense. And the mountain in between is, you know, um, very symbolic, but we'll get into all that later. But meaningly, the, the light is shining down on the masculine side of you and the feminine side of you the duality i'm telling you people that's all it's about it's the duality because if you know your light side and you don't know your dark side well then you don't know yourself but when you do it's amazing because now you can control both sides imagine that okay next card please so that's your duality. You're, you're coming into this light of balancing what you need to to kind of bring these burdens to like an even keel, right? And then you're standing in truth about that shit, right? So you're definitely serving people back their, um, their burdens, right? So maybe you have like a friend that's like, oh, I just got to have some advice and they never take it and shit, right? Piss you totally off. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, Especially when it comes true what your advice was. Coffee time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Become part of the new Iron family. Appreciate that. Mm. So, uh, where was I going with that? Anyways. Yeah. It's like they don't take the advice. And so, hey, that's on that. Right? So this is what you're trying to do is really mm, ease the burdens of yourself that you carry for yourself, but also of others. And you are hand tossing that like a fucking pepperoni pizza if you're 18 and under beat it to change that cycle of this burdensome shit that you've been carrying for a minute trying to find a balance and even give and take take your own I got my own shit basically and you're standing in the truth about it because you found yourself on both sides of who you are in that duality and boom here comes the ace of uh, pentacles so this is my yellow brick road so See the see the see the little road down there, right? It's yellow and it, it's like leading you to this abundance, which is your stability. It's like a jackpot kind of. Or you have a very very stellar fresh idea when it comes to your stability. So I think that you get enlightened on how because the six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is beaming to me, right? And that's all about stability. And the stability part is you're trying to get offload some of these burdens onto other people that, you know, own this shit. And <laughs> uh, you get some information about how to do this. And the information how to do this, my friends, is understanding the duality of yourself. Then you stand in your freaking truth 
and boom, you're illuminated to an idea how to do this. Come on. This is magnifique. Wish I could speak French, but you know. I took Italian, you know what I'm saying? I love that language. It's so beautiful. The arts just roll off your tongue. Four pentacles. Well. Yeah, this says to me that your new idea that you're gonna roll up into, you're just gonna tuck that away and keep it on the side. It's like, you're gonna understand how to bring yourself into this duality and stand in your own truth about handing people's asses that uh, shadow you, in a sense, you know? Man, that's some good coffee. You're gonna hold on to this, you're gonna tuck, tuck this knowledge away because this fresh idea is what is the you studying your truth about knowing this is what you have to do. All right, it sounds really good, man. I love handing back some people some shit. Five of cups, there you go, boom. Well, you know, it's gonna make you a little bit like, okay, the five of cups to me represents very closely like the hermit, okay? We go in hermit mode, which is like going in and trying to find your answers and analyzing shit, right? Um, the Five of Cups is like despair and not satisfied with, you know, shit in front of you and blah, 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 kind of blah, right? So blah, blah. <laughs> it's the same as the Hermit. It's like one step away from really, well, not one step, but it's part of the process of getting to the Hermit mode. Because we get depressed, we get sad, you know, people hurt us, people lie to us, whatever the case may be. Um, we dip into our emotions and ourselves and then we go into eventually with enough shit cracked onto us You go into this self-reflection mode Then you try to understand if it's you or them or them or you. You know what I'm saying? I should teach man Anyways, next card, please. Here come is your two cards <laughs> Tops, bottom, bottom, top Mmm Seven of Cups, you got a bit of a mixed emotions with that, but don't worry, you'll be successful and your forward movement will be guided from the divine because the chariot card is the divine uber coming in already pre-programmed, pre-loaded for the destination. So don't worry about this despair and this mixed emotions shit about holding on to your idea of understanding who you really are and serving other people their shit and being able to process your own. Okay, that was just like swiftly rolled off the tongue, wasn't it? Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. I love it. Okay, here comes your next card. Magician. See, boom. Now you're going to be able to manifest some shit. Because when you are burdened in your negative energy and you're just like, Bleh. what the hell are you going to manifest? A hole in the sheetrock because you're pissed off and you punched a hole in the wall? Stupid. That's about what you're going to get. So when you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. When you can release these burdens and the shit that's holding you down, well, now you're free to manifest things in your life that you want that are positive. Magician card. News, we got two cards left. Here comes the end of the story. But we got two more at the end for the verdict. Remember about Subway. When you go there and shit, get your, your salad with no cucumbers. Tell them about my channel. Thanks. And hit the like button and subscribe because you're a hard worker. <laughs> you like that? Boom. It's more of like you're skilled at what you do. So this is now a skill that you've learned how to manifest for yourself in times of despair and mixed emotions. You pull your kind of head out of your ass. You, you go back into your subconscious and then you realize what you were holding on to, which was this gift of new ideas of being able to know your both sides of yourself your duality your yin and your yang your masculine and feminine because when you're masculine you're going to kick ass you're going to be the boss you're going to go to work and make that money da -da 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 -da. but when you're the feminine side well now you're uh, the nurturer and, and you know and the humanitarian and the the mother you know what i'm saying what's up 
that's your skill that you've learned. And you can manifest this basically when you get in this energy, my friends. Because it all relates to back here when you need to understand that you have burdens yourself. But you're carrying burdens of other people that you need to offload. This is that. Word that comes the last card in the story. This is a juicy. I'm so glad it's some juicy January. Okay, don't worry about this. Three of Swords. So offloading these burdens, my friends, are gonna it's gonna be a little heartbreak. It's gonna make you want to dip into this confusion of emotions of Oh, they're my friends, but I gotta carry all the bullshit because you know, they're just emotionally dependent. Whatever. <laughs> that puts you in despair because maybe you're looking for some stability yourself in the same way. Who knows? So you're gonna be a little tender in the heart about it. It's gonna it's gonna make you feel that um, no matter what you do, it's still a skill that you can you can still get over it and, and manifest and regenerate you know, some positivity and a new fresh idea of how to understand yourself as you being the human in control of your life, understanding the duality of you. Man, this is getting deep. Okay, here comes the last two cards of the, uh, well, that's, that's the last cards of the, of the story, but here comes the energy to close it out and seal the deal with your verdict. Now you're free to wish for whatever you'd like. Because it's so close to the Magician card, it's almost like whatever that you wish. And a wish is your intention of what you seek, but not through the mind, but through the heart. And you can only do that when your mind and your heart is connected. And this is your, you can wish and hope for things with your heart and manifest some shit you want. How's that for some deep Akashic shit, huh? This is definitely for somebody. Somebody needed to hear this, I know for sure. So here's the last card of your outcome. Look at that. Boom, good fortune. Like, yeah, you can wish to win the lottery and you'll get that shit. Because this is what you had to learn. Had to learn how to offload shit that ain't yours. Which is really, <laughs> that was the lesson in learning how to combine your shadow side, your dark side, your light side, your happy side. Put those two together. Standing in that truth. Boom. Now you get this revelation. Congratulations, man. Well, man, that was a hell of a reading. I really enjoyed that shit. I mean, nothing like raising your vibration like through the roof. So, with that being said, if you didn't hit the like button on the way in, please do so now. If you didn't hit the subscribe button on the way in, please do so now. I would love for you guys to be part of the Divine Family. We're growing and expanding in ginormously huge, tremendous ways. I all appreciate you because it took all y'all, you and you and you and you, to get me here to hear what I have to say to you. So, Appreciate that. That being said, have a great day. Peace and bread.